Hi, I'm Allegra, a board-certified music therapist who consults with Perfect Harmony. In music therapy, we use music in a clinical setting to improve functioning in areas such as cognition, communication, physical ability, social ability, mental and emotional health. Approaches to treatment vary within the field, as music therapists work with a variety of populations. However, across all populations, board-certified music therapists are trained to achieve greater responses to non-musical goals as compared to those using music for entertainment or recreation. Although music therapists are the only professionals trained to use music as therapy, there are many non-clinical ways to use music with older adults. Here are some considerations to help your musical experience be most successful when working with an individual with cognitive decline and or dementia. Individuals with cognitive decline and or dementia require more time for processing information. It is important to wait at least five seconds between asking a question or giving a directive and expecting a response. Some individuals with cognitive decline and or dementia may find it difficult to communicate verbally. Consider incorporating other forms of communication, including gestures, visuals, or music. Always be mindful of and adapt to the individual's physical, aural, or visual needs. Maintaining a person-centered approach, meaning you are focused on the individual rather than their diagnosis, is important when caring for someone with dementia. Speak slowly, calmly, and remain patient, flexible, understanding, and genuine in all interactions. Physiological responses to music occur naturally and can last a lifetime. Most individuals develop a personal connection with music and associate various songs or artists with life events. Individuals with cognitive decline and or dementia often recall musical memories more vividly than non-musical memories. This is because processing of music occurs throughout the brain rather than in one localized region. Music should be incorporated into the daily life of an individual with cognitive decline and or dementia. When providing assistance with activities of daily living, consider singing a familiar song with the individual or playing their favorite music on a nearby audio device. When appropriate, encourage singing or movement to the music. It is important to know that an individual may cry or appear upset when participating in a musical activity. This does not always mean they are having a negative experience. However, it is important to validate their response and not ignore it. Be genuine, comforting, and acknowledge how you interpret them to be feeling. If you begin to notice particularly distressing behaviors, the individual may be experiencing emotions representative of a deeper matter. At this time, it would be important for you to contact a music therapist, social worker, doctor, counselor, or other healthcare professional. When engaging in a music activity with an individual with a cognitive decline and or dementia, keep these tips in mind. Music should always come first. Engaging in music prior to discussion will help this experience be most successful. An individual may require physical prompts when participating in movement. Using Perfect Harmony's suggested seated movements as a guide, support the individual by providing hand-over-hand -hand assistance when necessary or adapting the movement to best meet the individual's needs. Last but not least, have fun. Music is motivational and enjoyable. Perfect Harmony's resources provide the opportunity for socialization and meaningful interactions through music.